In this week's Peterson podcast, I'd like to talk a little bit about arthropods. So we're going to talk about four different groups or four different organisms of arthropods. But let's first talk about arthropods. So arthropods are basically uh, organisms that have jointed legs. The first group I want to talk about are crustaceans. And there are two examples of crustaceans that I want to talk about, and those are prawns and crabs. So let's look at the characteristics or features of crustaceans. First of all, you need to make sure that you do page 33, figure 5.1, which is a picture of a prawn, and add that to your notes. So let's talk about the characteristics. First of all, the body of a prawn is divided into the head, thorax, and abdomen. The head and thorax are fixed to form what's called the cephalothorax. The body is segmented and is covered with an exoskeleton which is rich in protein and chitin. Remember that exoskeleton can be broken down into its parts, exo, which means outside, and skeleton, which is of course a, the uh, structure which supports the body. So exoskeleton is the covering on the outside. They have jointed legs for walking and a tail fin for swimming. And the way that they breathe is they have gills, which is their respiratory organs. The crab is also in this group. It's also a crustacean and can be found on page 33, figure 5.2 of your textbook. That also needs to be added to your notes. The crabs are crustaceans and they're found in fresh and salt water. Their body is covered with a hard shell, exoskeleton again, which is rich in carb uh, carbonate, calcium carbonate, and again also forms their exoskeleton. In the crab, this can also be called the carapace. The body is divided into the head, thorax, and abdomen, similar to that of the prawn. And similar to that of the prawn, the segments of the head and thorax are also fused together to form the cephalothorax. The crabs will move sideways it has strong claws that it can use to capture its prey. And also, like the prawn, it can breathe through its gills, which are its respiratory organs. Okay, let's talk about another group. These are the arachnids, or arach um, arachna arachnidia. The first I want to talk about is the scorpion. Its body is divided into the cephalothorax and abdomen. It has its own pair of jointed legs. It has a sharp pair of claws and sharp sting in its tail. The sting is also attached to a poison gland. The claws are used for catching prey. The female scorpion will give birth to young ones, which it then carries on its back. It breathes through book lungs. And then this is a picture of a scorpion. The spider is another group in the arachnids. The spider is divided, the spider's body is divided into the cephalothorax and abdomen. They have special organs called spinnerets in the hind area of their body, which they use to produce elaborate web thread and make webs. They also breathe through book lungs. The black widow spider of America is poisonous, and this is a picture of a black widow spider. They have jointed legs, appendages for catching prey which are often insects. So spiders are very useful to our ecosystem. This has been a brief talk 
about two groups of arthropods. Thank you so much.